Okay, so what's up YouTube? Um, I just bought this Dodge a little while ago and um, it was showing no bus on the dash. So after researching and researching, I went ahead and just did the most expensive um, fix for it, which is the ECU. I didn't worry about the camshaft uh, positioner or anything like that. I just kind of went right for it. This was like two hours away from my house so I kinda just wanted to like cover all my bases and so I bit the bullet and I went for the ECU I mean ECM or PCM and um, so I'm gonna show you my old uh, PCM and the, what was going on with that um, how it was stalling um, and then what I did to a quick fix to take it back home um, instead of buying a whole new brand new ECM um, tailored to my vehicle I actually found one it's this one right here um, this was taken out of another vehicle um, uh, I have a 2000 Dodge um, 3500 uh, 5.9 liter and automatic transmission um, that's my old one and this one was taken out of a 1999 Dodge 2500 5.9 liter automatic uh, transmission and um, this guy I got for 50 bucks on Craigslist and sure enough I put it in it ran just fine um, some indicators were on but it got me back home which was basically I think it was like a three hour drive on the highway so it went from 14 months not running, I got it for a great deal on, on Craigslist, this van, um, to a drivable vehicle that I drove from sitting for over a year. So, um, so I kind of have a really unique opportunity now to show you guys a no bus um, Dodge problem because I have both my old one, and I'll go over what it what it looks like when your ECM is bad um, what are the you know what it does um, this is one I got out of another vehicle I'll tell you how to do that and then this one I'll get my tattoo out of the way um, this one is a one tailored specific to my vehicle that um, has my VIN in it and my um specific to my vehicle like I bought it specifically for it because even though you put you can put in one from another vehicle there, there might be some problems with um with putting one from another vehicle into your vehicle and I'll show you some of that stuff um so in order to pass inspection I needed to put this one in because there were some indicator lights that this one was popping up that weren't weren't actually real but um, this one, this one definitely, um, is true to my, my car and none of the indicators came on. So I'll go through them. So I'll put in the old one. I'll show you what was going on with that. Put in the one I got from another vehicle that works just fine and how to do that. And then I have a brand new one that I bought online. Gave my VIN, my body type, everything. And, um. So I'm really excited I get to bring this in to get stay inspection because it's almost the end of the month. So, <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so now this is the, I'm going to start it with the original bad um, ECM. The, re the reason why it, it sold so well on um, Craigslist was because of this. Uh, it wasn't running. It would start, but it would stall out, and um, so here we go. I'm gonna put the key in, and um, so some of the diagnostic. I'll just run it, and then I'll tell you about it. So here we go. All indicators are on.
not even starting now. I'll just keep it on there. So. Keep it on. So it's not even starting. Are you gymming or vanning? I might van in the next. Okay, <laughs> thank you. There we go. You're good. So there it is. I just kept it on for a little while. It won't start. Um, it's kind of like hit or miss with this one. So I have a check engine light. There are no codes on it. Um, well, actually there is, but it's nothing like relevant. Um, all right. So I got it to run with the old ECM. Just kind of let it let it rest for a little bit and then put it back on. So now it's running, seems fine, you know, sounds like the new one I just bought. However, in a little while we will see. The reason I got it so cheap, this van, was because um, it needed a little maintenance. They said it needed a new, um, um, a new fuel pump. So I bought it, put the new fuel pump in, and what do you know, nothing nothing changed like it would run for a little bit and then stall out within like five minutes so um but then what i started noticing is okay so it just stalled out okay check engine light just came on went away that's weird Try to do this again. Nope, nothing. So, pretty odd. Pretty odd if you ask me. So, it just is acting very, very strange. Not, as you can see, the first time I put it in, I had all these, you know, check engine lights, the brake light, you know, all this, all this crazy stuff was, was happening. Um, but the biggest thing that was going on was right next to the, um, I mean, right on the digital odometer, uh, no bus was showing. So, um, yeah. So after reading the forums, I kind of just went for it and bought a new ECM because that's kind of a common problem with these guys with the ECM being, let me show you. ECM on these Dodges is right next to the engine. I didn't screw it in just because it's it only make a difference of a few inches, but it overheats, I believe, and maybe stuff happens to it. So these are it's a common thing for these things to go out. And so um, yeah, so there it is. And here's the engine right there, and it is hot, let me tell you. I'm already feeling it. Um, cool, let's go on to the other one. And I also want to add, um, since we're here already with the old ECM in, um, the reason why um, I, they thought, and I thought that it was a fuel pump issue was because, you know, every, every so often, every now and then, you would turn the key and the fuel pump wouldn't turn on. And... Um, you know, or it would be hit or miss. We even, after taking off the old one, we would, we put a voltmeter up to the, um, ends of it and we would get 12 volts just great, you know, 12 volts and they would go out in two seconds. Um, and that was a constant thing until eventually it would just stop. And, um, you know, there was a point where we would get enough, uh, pressure from, um, turning in the on position that we could start it, but only start for like 20 seconds and then shut off. So um, that's another thing uh, to check. If you have a no bus and you are you think it's a fuel pump issue, um, look into it a little bit more because um, we were also looking into like maybe a shorted wire going down to the fuel pump. But again, the no bus and the, um, the nature of it, because sometimes it would come on for a while and then shut off, and it seemed like we were getting 
exactly you know 12 volts to the to the fuel pump every time so um and it wasn't the fuel pump because we took it out and got the old one and put it up to 12 volts and it ran just fine so that was pretty frustrating if you can imagine taking the old the old uh the old um fuel pump only to realize that it works fine and that i spent 140 dollars 140 dollars for a new uh, fuel pump that it wasn't even the problem so i returned it autozone's pretty good with their return policy um and yeah so let's go on to the one i took out of another vehicle all right guys so now this is the test run test start with the uh ecm i took out of a different um a different van different year uh i have a 3500 built in the 2000 and this ecm was taken out of a 1999 tw uh 2500 dodge van uh, ram van and um so this is what got me from um, Charlottesville to Northern Virginia after ru not running for 14 months so turn it on position oh, probably would help to connect the battery let's do that real quick I'll break it down. should only take a second this on. a little bit of frying noise when I put it on um, here. Sorry, only two hands one on the phone and a screwdriver with the other. Pulling the nut with my finger. Almost there. Okay, that's on. Alright. There we go. So, here we are. There we go. So part of the reason I did not pass um, inspection was because of all the brake lights that were coming on, which are kind of phantom indicators. So you see the check engine light, no bus. There is like no, no um, information between you know each of the this computer and my my vehicle, even though it runs fine. All the other stuff isn't it isn't made to work with anything else. Um, so even as soon as you put it in, there's a no bus, um, and there the OD off is constantly on. No matter how many times I hit this button. check engine lights on and pretty soon we're going to see the brake light and the ABS light come on so I'm just going to wait for that to happen so if you're short on money you just need to get it somewhere um, I got this ECM, ECM for 50 bucks on Craigslist for, off a guy who was just parting out his van. Engine ran great. And um, I wish I had the list with me, but I went to pick a part. And they gave me a list of what you do with the Dodges. As long as you have the same engine and the drivetrain, or the transmission, automatic transmission or whatever. Um, you can take it out and put it into your vehicle and it should run so I got a list it had it listed probably like 80 vehicles I could swap my there it is the brake brake light and the ABS come on and that you can't pass state inspection with that so uh, especially with the no bus like that's just no no and the check engine light so there's just a lot going on and there's no codes to be pulled up so I failed um, failed so I'm gonna go back and put in my new one that I just bought because I should pass. Okay, so to do what I did um, and just take one from another vehicle, you're gonna have problems. You might be able to reprogram it, but it was just a gamble for me. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have to um, deal with that because um, 
you know, it's not guaranteed if you can't completely tailor it to your specific vehicle. So, but if you want to just a quick fix and you find a cheap ECM, you can do this. So here's my VIN on my car and you see here the Z. This is what they used. I went to pick apart and I wish I had the whole list of it, but what you can do is just take they they search you can go to your local pick apart dealer or whatever and ask them to run this check and maybe give you a list um, and um, so what you do is you search all the vins of um, dodges that have this this Z in it in my case the Z um, in the one two three four five six seven eight in the eighth place so you search that and I have a 5.9 liter um, V8 with an um, automatic transmission and so but either way search all the VINs and you'll have a list of all of the the ECMs that you can just plug and play just like I did and drive it just like any other vehicle however you won't be able to communicate with it if that's not your um, only problem um, it might be problematic if it can't read anything else going on with your Alright, and here is the new ECU I bought online, tailored to my VIN and vehicle, which this is the first time I'm turning the key. So you're seeing what I'm seeing for the first time. I'm really nervous. Disconnected the battery. All the indicators come on. Brake lights on. Let me take the brake off. Where the heck is? No indicators are on. There is a, a no bus. Let's try to turn the key. Dear God. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh. Oh. That was weird. The brake light and then the ABS came on. Um, engine sounds a little weird. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna give out soon. Or not, I don't know, I'm not a mechanic, maybe something jiggling around. Maybe I'm low on gas, I don't know. But it's running, let's see how long it runs.